The Schmino was originally created by Norm Zeigler. It was tied with Estaz and Marabou, almost like a large woolly bugger. I have enhanced this a bit by using craft fur and some ice diving. I also added dumbbell eye for added weight. You will want to start by wrapping the thread all the way back to the bend of the hook. Then wrap back just shy of the eye of the hook. Now tie in your dumbbell eyes. For more information on tying in dumbbell eyes, click the dumbbell link at the top of the video. Or if you're on a mobile phone, the link will be in the description. If you're like me and you forgot your head cement, go ahead and add it now. Head cement is important to keep this fly durable. Now wrap your thread back to the bend of the hook. Cut and prepare a section of craft fur to create a tail. Tie in the craft fur so it wraps all the way to the dumbbell eyes. After tying in, bring your thread back to the base of the tail. For this next step, I add a section of EZ body. I like it for its durability and flash. However, it is expensive, so you can use whatever body wrap you like. Add some more head cement to keep everything in place. Now I add some dubbing. In this case, I am using ice dubbing. Create a taper and smooth out the body with your dubbing. You want a nice base for your body wrap to sit on, which will make it easier to wrap smoothly. Now tightly wrap your body wrap. Hold your hook if you need to, to keep it from bending. Sorry for the vise moving in the camera. I am wrapping very tightly, which is moving my vise. Now capture the body wrap with some very tight wraps. You can cut off the excess. Now take a fairly large clump of your ice dubbing and dub it in just behind the dumbbell eyes. You will want to dub this in fairly loosely. Use a bodkin or the tip of your scissors to pull out some of the fibers of your dubbing. Now bring your thread to the other side of the dumbbell and dub in some more dubbing, also very loosely. Now pull back the fibers of your dubbing and form a small head on the fly. Now you can whip finish the fly. The last step is to take a dubbing brush or a stiff bristle toothbrush and comb out the dubbing. The fly has lots of action due to the craft fur tail and loosely tied dubbing. When using ice dubbing, there is lots of shine and shimmer in the water. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comment section below. Now get off the internet and go catch some fish.